So with fall just around the corner, I'm thinking to myself, let's do something festive for the channel. Like, what really happens in October? You know, you, you have pumpkins come into all the stores. You know, you got pumpkins in your latte. Pumpkins and pumpkin decorations. You know, it's pumpkin carving. But what else is there? That's right. The night of the spook. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your you know what kind of animals are kind of spooky? Spiders? Centipedes? Really anything that has more than four legs and makes this noise. <laughs> so for this October, we're going to be talking about your creepy crawlies. You know what I'm saying? The ones that fly, the ones that crawl with one another, and even that thing that lives in my basement. So without further ado, our first creepy crawly, the praying mantis. Can we get a replay on that head turn? Specifically, we're looking at the Chinese mantis. So it is an invasive species to the United States, but even more specifically, this is a mantis that my friend found at work. And you know I'm bottling this up, taking it home, and showing Aisha. Stop it. He doesn't. <laughs> now that we let this invasive alien bug into our house, let's take a look at it. The first thing I notice is how the mantis moves. It's so precise and clearly meant to blend in to a swaying branch in the wind. It's almost indistinguishable to a walking stick that I filmed a while back. Without a doubt, mantises have to be one of the smartest insects. Just watch how it climbs on the smooth surface of this little garbage bin, tapping the surface to find a good footing before moving their next limb. Every step is calculated with precision. So I just set up a couple new vivariums in my animal room, and Mr. Chinese Mantis really seems to like them. Ah yes, the true journey of every bug. Search and find the holy light. Okay, so next you know I had to do the thing with the bug on your face for Instagram. Because I'm weird and I have no friends. Check me out on Instagram, link in description. Moving on, female Chinese mantises engage in sexual cannibalism, where shortly after mating, the female will eat the male. However, biologists believe this may be in part because female have a better chance to survive with a full stomach. And if females are known to lay egg cases that contain up to 300 nymph mantises, the idea is that the species is sacrificing the male mantis in mating to ensure 300 may survive. In cases where food is more readily available, the female may pass up on this cannibalism. And a lot of people don't know this, but several species actually don't participate in sexual cannibalism at all. Mantises have really good eyesight, and it's said they can see in color and even in three dimensions. No, seriously, a group of scientists at Newcastle University equipped a prey mantis with a set of 3D glasses. And the mantis was reacting to the 3D movements like you and I would at a movie theater. Well, maybe not the same way. Mantises have trouble seeing red, so the contrasting colors were green and blue. Unlike other insects, they're also strictly carnivores. But Dan, aren't they technically insectivores because they eat only other insects? No, Jimmy, they eat literally whatever they can catch. Chinese mantises have been documented eating anything from flies to hummingbirds. They wait right next to a bird feeder and ambush the bird when least expecting it. And once the mantis has its grip on you, it won't hesitate to eat you alive. And if you're not already scared of this prey mantis, they can also fly. So I hope you gained a new fear today. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of this. And uh, yeah, see ya.